That was why I went to landlord. Since they said I can use what I have to get what I want, he had an agreement. What's the agreement? That, okay, I'll be coming to him if he, if he need me as a married woman. You but started sleeping with this I landlord? I started sleeping with my landlord. I started sleeping with him. We agreed on six months that, okay, I'll be coming to you six months, just for six months, for me to get what I want. And he promised that he's going to erase every debt that we are owing him. That he will cancel everything. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Nene Baby. So, guys, today, I have this woman here. She said there's something she would like to share out. That um, between she, landlord, and the husband, she wants people to advise her on what to do, on how to go about it. So, you know, sometimes it's good to speak out. Let's hear from her, guys. Okay, man, no mention your name. Just go straight with your story. Okay, um, I appreciate you for giving me the listening here, for me to be here. Because the reason why I'm here is because uh, I don't know what I will do again. I am so frustrated. And this thing I want to share with you, please. I don't want people to mock me or use it to insult me or to judge me. Because already, I'm already feeling guilty. I'm already judging myself. I just need advice and people's opinion on what I can do for me to come out of this problem that I put myself into. My landlord is the reason why I'm here. My landlord where I stay. It all happened that this man is a very, is a very nice man. He's a very good man. He's jovial. Play with uh, everybody in the compound. So, but it happens that my husband, where he was working, we are living fine, doing good. We are staying in a, a room and parlor. A room and parlor face me and face you. Somewhere at um, uh, Ijegu, I have three children for my husband. My husband is working with uh, a, a, a bank as a driver. You understand me? He's working with a, a, a bank as a driver. So, but... Though not that we are too rich, but we are living fine. We are managing ourselves. Not until my husband lost his job. They sacked him from that bank. He stopped working there. So when he stopped working, everything became so hard. I'm into POS business. And I'm selling all these small, small recharge cards to join with it. There is no how we could feed on this uh, POS thing with the business I'm doing because it's not fashion, if not, it's not giving me enough. It's just small, small business. Now that my husband lost his job, there's no how we can feed. So, but he started going for all this laborer's job. Maybe somebody called him to him and do one or two things. He will quickly go. At times he will see small money to add to what I am seeing so that we can use it to be taking care of ourselves. We are managing it uh, like that, like that, like that. To the point that, it got to a point that we could not afford to pay our house rent. We could not afford to pay our house rent. This man started frustrating us, my landlord. He started frustrating my, my husband. He started threatening him that we should pay his uh, house rent, that, or we should pack out, that he wants to put another people there. There's no how we can go and look for another, another place because there's no money. We hardly, we hardly feed safe. We hardly eat money food. Talk more of looking for another place. But, but I believe that we are still going to pay them, that money, our landlord's money. This man started frustrating my husband. Started telling him that he should pay up his money. This man can call my husband anytime. He can call him morning, night, mid, anytime he can call my husband. Even sometimes he will be insulting, he lay costs on him. That if he, if he did not pay his, his money, that he will get him. This thing started troubling us. We don't know what to do. To the extent that my it got to a point that my husband stopped coming home. For a week like this, I will not see my husband. 
I will not see him. I don't what is what is going on. That he should come back now. That your own landlord does not mean that you, should, you will not come back and stay with your family. At least for us to manage and look for how we can raise the man's money and give him. It's not for you to be running. Sometimes he will come here and ask me if the landlord came. I will tell him yes that he came or he did not come. So I see no reason why he, he will be leaving the house. Leaving the Lord for only me. Even when, if he wants to send money that time, self, is it that 5,000 or 7,000? Okay, when he left the house, yes. he was sending small, small money. Yes, sending small, small money. In a, in a month, oh, he might send like 5,000. Hmm. What will I do with such money? I, I just use it to add to what I am doing, that POSB that I'm doing. I, do, I, go to, I go to where I'm, I'm doing my business almost every day. This thing happened to, to the point that I don't know what to do. Okay, I've begged, I, when, when you got to the point that I don't know what to do, I started looking for where I'm going to borrow money so that I can settle the, this my money so that I can be at peace. But I did not see. I even went and talked to some people to borrow me money that I'm going to return it to them, but I did not see where to collect money. Okay, I now call a friend of mine and share it with her so that she can tell me what to do, how I can get money. But she now said that I should go and see the landlord, that I should go and see the landlord and beg him that since he did not listen to my husband, that the landlord can listen to me as a woman. So I now went to meet this, my landlord. But what this man did really shocked me. Could you believe that this, my landlord, chased me? If you see the way he insulted me, that if I'm not careful, self, that they will send us packing. That they will send us packing. That I should, I should, I should just leave his house. That was how I left that, that place that very day. For like a week, I did not go to him. But do you know what this, my landlord did? He now went and disconnected my light. Why? He disconnected it, that one aside. He now disconnected our water. Hmm. That what became big problem that I said, why will this man disconnect our light and our and my and my water? So yeah, what will I do? Flat. Only my flat. If this man come out of the compound like this, people, if you see the way he used to greet people, he, he will play with my neighbor's children. But when he's come to my he will, he will see the way he will insult and insult my life. So that was how he did it. He just disconnected everything, my light, my water. I started buying water. It's not easy for me. Remember, I told you that my husband has not been coming home. Even if you come, he just wants, wants. He will just sneak in. I know very well it's because of landlord matter. That's why he did not come. He refused to be coming home. Okay. When it's disconnected everything like that, I started buying water from what they said, Abuki. One gallon of water is 30 naira. I will buy like six. I know how much I used to spend every day. And we use water a lot. Water is everything. My, I will wash my children's clothes. I will cook. I will do everything, clean the house. We will flush. It's water we are using. I, use, I just manage to use six gallons of water every day. Yes. I know how much I'm spending. And when it comes to light, I have children. I went and bought lamp. I will go to people's shop and I will plug it and charge it. That is how I'll be managing it. I went to beg this man to please connect my light back. It's not funny anymore. He should connect my light and connect my water. We will pay him the money. I called my husband. That how much are you owing him? The, the, the rent is like a, a year and two months. Okay. A year and two months. And the, a month is how much? A month, a month is 5000 for one room because it's a room and parlor. Okay. Face me and face you. So we are paying for a room and parlor, which is five. That's two rooms for 5000 That is 10000 10, every month. 10000 every month. Times one year. No? Times one year. And, two, and months. two months on it. So that is how it is. I've been begging this man. This man should just help me. But he does not want to see me. He doesn't want to listen to me. You know, we, we, we're doing it like that to the extent that they chased my children out of the school because I could not afford the school fees anymore. They chased them out of the school. Anytime, like my children is at home. 
anytime I'm going for my business, I will have to lock them inside the house so that my neighbor will not notice anything that is happening. Or they will not notice that my, my children, they, they do not go to school. So I have to lock them inside. I, I, and I even want them not to come outside until I'm back. When I come back, that's when I hope I'll give them everything they need in the house. So that's how I've been doing it. The shame is so unbearable. So I have to be locking them inside house. I could not afford the school fees again. So what now happened? I now went to meet my landlord one day. I said, I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know how I'm going to go about this anymore. What do I do? I've talked to my husband to come back so that we can struggle, we can work hard and raise at least, even if it's small, for us to go and give this landlord so, so that he can let us be. But my husband refused to come back. Even when, when, they, when they chased my children out of school, my husband did not come back home anymore. A month, two months, I did not see my husband again. Even he, to the point that he stopped calling me. If I pick, if I, if I manage to call him like this, before he will pick, if I tell him to send me some money, he will send me 5,000. For a month, or even two months plus, he will send 5,000. He will send 7,000. How am I supposed to raise money to pay this man? I don't just know what to do. So one day, I now talk to myself. I said, instead of me facing all these things, is it not better for me to go and meet this landlord? And I took one uh, decision. What was the decision? I made one decision. I just, I said, I know this thing I did is not, it's not something that I'm supposed to do. But it's because I could not bear it anymore. The frustration is getting too much. I could not, I could not come out of the compound that I'm staying because of the shame. Okay, one night, I went to meet the landlord. I was even wearing a one gown like that. And I went to meet the landlord. When this man saw me, was was kind of scared. But I begged him that I should hold on. There's something I want to discuss with him. There's something I want to tell him. That I should just give me this listening here. So that I can tell him what I, what I came for. So this man said, uh, chase me away that very night. He said I should leave. So later I left that day. I was thinking I don't know what to do. Why, later, why did you go there that day? The reason why I went to that place is because, you know, as a woman, since my husband is not there, I need my husband to come back to me, to come back to the house, to come back to his children. So I said whatever it will take, I'm going to do it for us to be free in all these things. That was why I went to landlord. Since they said I can use what I have to get what I want. That was why I went to meet that landlord. I know that decision I made really puts me in trouble that I am now, which I don't know how I'm going to do it. I went to meet landlord that day. He did not give me listening here. And so after like two days, he now called me on phone that I should come and meet me. Uh, I should come and meet him in his room. The landlord is staying in the same compound with us. Okay, okay. Yes. He's staying in the same compound with us. So he now called me that night that I should come. And I went to meet the landlord. We had an agreement. What's the agreement? That, okay, I'll be coming to him if he, if he needs me. That I can give him anything that he wants. Yes. I don't want I don't want people to blame me for whatever I did. I know I'm even I'm feeling guilty on my own that I'm not supposed to do it as a married woman. You but started sleeping with this I landlord. started sleeping with my landlord. I don't know. I don't know how to go about this. I don't know what to do. I started sleeping with him. We agreed on six months that okay, I'll be coming to you six months, just for six months, for me to get what I want. And he promised that he's going to erase every debt that we are owing him. That he will cancel everything. That he will cancel, like, I will just tell my husband that I borrowed money from some, somebody. So that our landlord now gave us the two months. So that was the agreement that I had with him. And this man accepted. So this man will call me anytime. No time, no day. In a week like this, we can meet like three, four times. That was how this man had been doing it. My landlord, Yo, his wife, uncle. Is the landlord living alone? 
he's not living alone. Then where do you normally the, meet the him? The thing is that anytime I want to go to him, okay. I will look around. I will watch. Because his wife normally goes to this end. They have this family house somewhere around my area. Okay. So that the wife used to go. The wife normally leave the, leave the house yes. for the man alone. Yes. She's the type that she don't used to stay at home like that. She will, she likes to go out, you know, sleep outside, especially her family house. So that was how I have the opportunity to be going there. So I will just watch if she's not around. And the landlord said, make sure that no, the, the, neighbor, the neighbors are not noticing anything. They are not seeing anything. So I will just, anytime I want to go, I will just sneak in and go there. So this man, this man will sleep with me, do all sorts of things. I make sure I satisfied him every time I go there. So we started like that for like almost one year. I thought you said six months now. We had an agreement on doing it for six months. Okay. But as, as the case may, as it is now, this man don't want to leave me. He just wants to be having me every now and then, every time. Anytime he needs me, he will just call me. Okay, when we started, this man connected my husband to some people. Did your husband, is he back now? The, my husband is back. Okay. Because he asked me to call my husband to come back. He, he now connects him to one man. That man, anytime he's going to work, he will call my husband. So if my husband should follow him to work, what kind of work? Like all this, it's still laborers work, but it's in a bigger company. Okay. Uh -huh. So anytime you follow that man to work, he, he might probably see like 7,000, 10,000 in a day. Okay. We started feeding well. I will not lie to you. We started feed, feeding well. And this man said, he promised, as he promised that he's going to erase everything about the rent, that he's going to erase, erase it. So that was how we started. So my what, did husband, you, what did you tell your husband about the house rent? Like I said, okay. that I borrowed money okay. from someone. Okay. And the landlord now gave us two, the two more that was remaining, not to pay. So that was what I told my husband. And this man, my husband started following that man for the job. So one, you, anytime he goes to join, he will come, probably come back home with 8,000 or 7,000 at least a, a day. So that was how we're doing it. But my problem now is that... I, I don't want my husband to know what is going on. I want to live all these things. I want to live this kind of life. Because where I came from, it's not even good for a married man to be sleeping around with other men. So, and... Like something... a married woman, right? Yeah, a married woman, sorry. A married woman to be sleeping around with other men. So I'm, I'm feeling, I don't know what to do. And something now happened. There was time I took it for this, my landlord. Jesus Christ. It, has it gotten to that? You said you have many, you have many children. I have three children. And you later got pregnant for your... I now got pregnant for this, my land. Did you give because this man one? will not let me rest. If sometimes like this, I will dress up to go to where I'm doing my business. This man will just call me that I should come around. I and you go. I, I have no choice. That because I told him that I want to stop. But he started threatening me that if I should, if I should leave, that he will make sure that he reverse all the money that my husband is owing him is a lie and he's going to get my husband a bed. is a lie that i have no choice that than to continue what we are doing like how old is that man this man is getting to like 60. Mm. i don't know what to do he said i cannot leave that we have to continue this to the extent that i got pregnant for him when i when i took it for him he now he you know what he did what did he do he now gave me money to go and remove the pregnancy, which my husband must not know about this. Old man. When I removed the pregnancy... You did? I, do, I do have no choice than to remove it because my husband must not know. My husband is back. He must not know what is going on. But wait, where is your husband anytime you want to go and meet this man? Maybe anytime my husband goes to work. Before you go? Before he... Is it that he come here or he come to the house? Sometimes... Okay, he, sometimes he comes yes, to Yes, he will come to my house. My husband, my children will be sleeping inside the room. He will, he will be in the city room doing all sorts of things. He will be sleeping with me, like seriously. So when I now took him, he gave me money to go and remove the pregnancy. That was how I removed that pregnancy. I'm, I'm feeling guilty. I'm feeling bad for myself. 
I don't know. I don't just know how, how I got myself into all this. Okay, when I removed the pregnancy, I, I went to I went to meet the, this landlord that you should please, we should we have to stop all this. I cannot continue any longer. We should please stop all this. He said he said that if I should try, this is what I'm going to face. What? That is going to reverse everything that we are owing him. Face me and face you. Yes, and he will still get my husband arrested. That already the uh, the rent has been reading. That is going to two years now. I mean, like, since that time, years. you are not paying house rent. We are not paying house rent. He said we calculate everything. That is going to like three years. That I'm, he will make sure that my husband paid. I'm talking about that after the one year two months he raised before yes have you been paying this man we have not been paying him okay so you are using your body to yes to pay everything to pay everything you can you can see my life i don't just i don't just know how i got myself into this and it's because i i did this to help my husband so i can come back to the house okay i don't know i when i told him that i want to stop that i cannot continue he said i cannot i cannot stop that I can't stop, that if I should stop, this is what he's going to do. And I told him, I said, you know that my husband is back. Why are you still doing it? And besides, if your wife should know about this thing, you know it's not something good. He said he doesn't care anymore that if I should stop, uh, that he's going to reverse everything. Like the money is even more than what we are, what we are owing him before. This man used to, is a Yoruba man. Okay. This man is a Yoruba man, and I don't know. My husband is this is this kind of person that I don't know. This I've not seen this kind of man. He's so lazy, and he's, he's so is any small thing he will be afraid. He cannot face this landlord one man to man. He's so he's so he's like quiet he's, he's a quiet type. He's just like a vegetable. I don't just know. I'm the one woman woman for that matter. He's facing everything on my own. The man that I call my husband cannot even do it. That is why I got myself into all this. And it's because I want to help him. Now that he's, that he's back, oh, you go and face this man now. Do that me, I can be free. He could not. He cannot even do anything. I'm still using my body to pay everything in the house. Anything concerning red. I know this man connected the lights back and even the water. Because of, I said I want to use my body to get what I want. A married woman for that matter. I'm just tired. And this man, is this, this my landlord is, is a Yoruba man. He's this kind of person that goes to one, all this um, spiritualist, babalao place. So I am afraid. There was a time I wanted to set him up. I wanted to like, for, for me to set him up so that I can put him in one trouble or the other. So I mean I can be free. But I am af I'm just afraid. I don't, know, I don't know how to go about it. I don't know what to do. That's why I came to you. You don't need to be scared. So you are going to set this man up now. So turn your face so that people will not be seen. You are going to set this man up. Thank God his wife is there. Don't go to this man again. But do you know what? Because people told me that this man used to, that he's using charm. That if, I don't know, if I set him up, I don't know what will happen. You will not understand. I wish you know. I wish you know this. This you've seen him, or you will know how you see him. You will see the kind of person I'm talking about. This man uses. They say he uses charm. Though I'm not sure, but I, I I believe that's what he used to do. That is what he's doing because I don't know how I found myself. And you have not this. saved up money for you people I've, to pack I have not saved house. anything. What am I? It's just pos. I'm doing. It's not even enough. I'm just managing it to take care of my children. Sometimes like this, then our morning food will be in around 4, around 4 p.m. Before you give your children Before morning food. Before my children will eat morning food. Before my children will eat morning food. It's because of all this frustration. That was why I have to do this thing that I did, which has landed me into trouble. Ah, yeah, you, you will not money. understand. If you have money, you will just pack out from that compound. Leave that man at his house. That is my problem. I don't know where to see. I don't know how to raise money. My husband I'm putting hope on that he's going to act as a man. He's just there doing nothing. The work, uncle, at least somebody that is getting 7,000, 8,000, 10,000 a day. Is the work not coming steady? You know that when I told this landlord that, 
I want to stop. Okay. I stopped seeing him. Okay. I stopped seeing. It was when I stopped seeing him. This man start coming with a threat. Again. Again. That is going to get my husband arrested. And everybody will even know what happened. How will I face it? Okay, so um, I think we we'll have to do something first. Ay, Jesus. <laughs> I just want people to help me. I want people to just give me advice what I can do. Idea of how you are going to handle yes. this man. How are going to go about this thing? Number this one, is not, uh, number one, uh, you see this man, they go out this Babala uh, ho a house. Yes. So I, number two, yes, you have I believe involved that's what, yourself. That is it. You have involved yourself. Okay, so guys, please, if you know how she's going to handle this man, please drop for her in the comment section. But me, I would suggest she leave that compound. And the, when she leave the, the man's compound, there is no way the man will come anywhere and start disturbing her again. So that's the only thing we know we can do because I don't know what to say. She has done the mistake of going and sleeping with this man. That's the worst mistake ever she did. But let's not go that side. Let's find solution. Let's help her and find solution about this problem. Wow. All right, guys. Please help me share this video. Thanks for watching.